today we are going to be showing you how to replace a graphics card in an HP pavilion. This is what the back of the computer looks like. What we'll be doing first is removing that screw and we'll be turning it on its side and removing the cover. Right, if you don't have a screwdriver you can use a knife Keep the screw somewhere safe so you don't lose it. And now we're going to put it on its side. Right, so now what we're going to do is pull the cover forward and then we're going to lift it up. Okay, now you can see inside the computer. The PC. And what we're going to need to do so we don't get electric shock is we need to touch this power unit here. with both fingers, both hands and then we need to remove the current video card, graphics card which is that, yes okay. alright so first now we're going to be unscrewing this but yeah so that we can remove the current video card or graphics card and out comes the screw and we're going to slide this up and this here is where the graphics card is so lift it up and pull it out of its slot it's a little bit stuck it's come out this side but not that side is there a clip there won't be a clip you have to press yeah there's a clip so if you just zoom in there you'll see that there's a clip so we're going to push it back so when we push the new one in, it goes in easy and it will automatically come up by itself. So let's push that clip back there. Okay, so this is the new graphics card we've bought. Uh, GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. And it's 4 gigabytes. And now we're going to open it up. Instruction manual. Okay, that's the graphics card. Put it down. And that's a sticker of some sort. Right. And those are the drivers. Yeah, the drivers. So now, if you want to take the graphics card out and let's have a look. Be careful not to touch it except on the side where the silver things are. Well, we'll have to remove that soon. Maybe. Hold it like. Show me the back of it with the ports are. Those are the ports that you've got. Right, so what, when we're putting it in, we need to take off the protective layer. Where's the. Okay, show us the other side of it. You need to hold it lower because I can't see. So that's what it looks like. 
And now. That C stands for super clocked. So now what we need to do is. To we need to in. slot that into where the old one was. And then it's going to come there. But if you have a look on the side here, yeah, you can see it's got a double. Double slot. double slot. So we need to remove another one of these slots here. This one. Okay. And we do that with the knife. So. Or a screwdriver or a knife can do. If we remove that one first. No, you can't push it out. You need to remove it with a knife. Okay. Right, so now we need to remove this. So I'm going to stick a knife in there. And bend it back. Careful. And then that comes off, and then I need to put this one back in on the side. Okay. So now we're going to take the graphics card, and this side here we need to remove the cover. So we've got that. Now we're going to take off the cover. And that's the slot that we need to put in. Okay. Goes this way, pull yeah. facing outwards. Okay. okay, so now we need to push it into the slot. You need to move it forward just so the ports are coming out. Line up like so. Yeah. And and click it in. Push it in. No, no, you've heard it click. Okay, so now we want to make sure because there's no screws or anything that this is stable. It's stable. So we need to get this back on. Oh, first of all, we need to remove the cover here for one of the DVI ports. That's quite stiff, actually. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's unclip it. Okay, yeah. Wait, 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 we need to do the back. Wait, right, mind. You put, you put in. Okay, pull it out. And don't be very rough with it. No, we pressed it. Hold on. And I'll remove the other cover. Like that. And then all and the ports, see. Yeah, all the ports. need to quickly slot in the uh, other. When we've pushed it down, it's gone up. Right, there we go. So now it's in with the... Secure pin, whatever it is. And now we're going to screw it back in. No. Okay, so now we're going to align, push this forward. It goes in there. And we're going to slot that in there. And get the screw. Give it a few turns with your fingers. And then get your knife. Hold it lined up though. It's not it's not lined up. Just lift it up. It's fine, it will go down as soon as I finish screwing it in. No, it needs to be lifted up. Make sure that's tight. And now we can put the cover back on. What we do with this cover? We put it on like that, and then slide it forward. Slide it forward. And the best thing to do now. Turn it like that. Now, this is a video for people who buy something and own actually have the correct tools you can improvise. I'll show you a nice butter knife, is usually the best one to use for screwing in, like that. And now we are ready to plug the computer back in. These are the ports we'll be using, so you won't be um, plugging it into anything else. 
we'll plug the monitor back in here with our HD cable and that cable there and then we'll install the drivers from the CD and away we go so I'm just going to quickly put on this nice little sticker that came with the uh, um, graphics card peel off the little thing at the back I need to use my nails no. that that would look nice right there let's not stick it upside down right there in the center stick it down and there we have it just press it down make sure it sticks and there you go okay and we're going to go plug it in and see what happens. We'll show you what happens with the driver disc when you boot it up. And then we're going to put the CD in and then we are going to install the drivers once the computer has loaded up. Let's switch the computer on. So now we're going to install the video drivers. Click OK. You can hear it working in the background. Might take a while to install. And then we need to it's not done. After that you need to install the other ones as well. Ah. This is just checking if um Windows is right, which it should be. Windows eight point one. And green continue. Yeah. Now Express custom is just showing what it does, so you would just click Express. Yes. And then it will start to install, and it will come with this. Now, it don't, it, if you don't have any NVIDIA, if you didn't have an NVIDIA graphics card before, then it will take probably longer than it would if you did. can see it's nearly complete now. Sometimes your screen might go black during the in installation process. Don't be alarmed. This is normal. We'll just flick it on and off. As you can see just there, some may be longer than others. Right, so now this is all the stuff that it's installed. So you press close. You need to now, do the next one. These are DirectX. You should probably already have them, which I do, so you don't need to. 
Okay, so it's busy installing the components. And this is for the install direct X. Next, we're going to install EVGA Precision X, and then we're going to install EVGA OC Scanner. There's also Adobe Reader, View Manual, EVGA Folding and Home Help, and Install Unique Valley Benchmark. No, it's the Unigene. Unigene, sorry. But you don't need to install those. Those are just... Okay. Okay, now it's finished. Once the essential drivers have been installed, unless you want this, which allows you to configure the graphics card, then you don't need to do anything else. You can exit, and there you go. You should be. You, you should just be need fine. to restart your computer now.